it's never a win or a lose, right? So that's how we've been taught in school as, as kids. So that's kind of been how we've been indoctrinated. But that's not, that's actually false. It's not a win or a lose. It's either a win or a learn. A win, meaning you got the desired outcome or a learn. Maybe you didn't get the desired outcome, but you, but there were some nuggets that you got from the experience that now you can apply to the next experience. Well, hey there, friends, and welcome to Thought Leader Thursday. So excited to be here with you today. For those of you who don't know me, most of you know me here, but for those of you who don't know me, my name is Sharice Williams. I'm a former IC nurse. I'm a holistic health and empower, holistic health and empowerment coach as well, well as a business coach for female clinicians. I'm not sure why my words are all sticking together today, but uh, this will be interesting. Anyway, hello there. Um, on the business side, you guys, on the business coaching side, what I do is I empower impact-driven women to take their passion and their purpose and turn it into successful online coaching businesses uh, without sacrificing their family, without sacrificing their freedom, without sacrificing their fun. How about that? And so today, I want to talk to you about perfectionism. Now, we know a couple of weeks ago, I came in here and I spoke with you guys about procrastination. I think it was. I can't even think of oh, vulnerability. How can I forget that? It's about vulnerability. And if you missed that, uh, you definitely want to go back and uh, check that out. But today, I want to talk to you about perfectionism. Now, how many of you who are watching can relate, whether you're a, a clinician, female clinician or not, how many of you can relate to the idea of perfectionism or being a perfectionist. Yes. Yeah. You know, and it's, here's the thing. It's the sneaky little thing, right? It's a sneaky little personality trait that we sometimes wear as a badge of honor, right? We sometimes wear that as a badge of honor, whereas it really shouldn't be. You guys, sometimes you may hear me even refer to myself as a recovering perfectionist. Um, and here's the thing, this is true. So perfectionism, this concept of perfectionism, this personality trait of perfectionism, it, is, uh, it pertains whether you are super brand new in business or you are seasoned in business. It doesn't matter. Perfectionism, it, it's like I said, it's a sneaky little thing, right? And it's the thing or it's a thing, one of the biggest things that will keep you stuck, stuck at ground zero, for those of you who haven't launched your business yet, stuck at six figures. For those of you who have been like, you, you're like I got the six figures thing down, but that's it, right? Stuck at multi six figures and even stuck at seven figures. It is something that will keep you stuck. And here's the thing without even going into the whole, you know, psychology of it and all of that. Um, it's a trauma response, right? It's a, it, it's a trauma response. Most of it stems from when we were little and we did our best, um, but yet, maybe to our parents, to our teachers, to the people that were um, kind of author author authority figures in our lives, it wasn't good enough, right? So then subconsciously, subconsciously, we kind of developed this personality trait of perfectionism. Like it has to be perfect, okay? The, sometimes the bar was just set, you know, too high. We always kind of fell short of the bar. Is this relating? Is this, is this resonating with you? Yeah. And so... Again, we won't go into all the why, why do I have, why, you know, why is perfectionism a thing for me? Why is it that I suffer with perfectionism so bad? We won't go into all of that. The really important part is that you recognize it, right? You recognize it, okay? And so why is this even a problem, perfectionism? Why is it even a problem? Well, it's a problem because when you really look at perfectionism, what happens with perfectionism is that it keeps us in this procrastination mode, right? Oftentimes, we, 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 because we, have, we now have the bar set so high, we procrastinate from doing what it is that we know we should be doing. And you guys, here's the thing. It's not even just in business. It's in other things. It's in health and wellness. It's in showing up in, other, in multiple areas of your life, I am sure. I am sure of that. But we're going to keep it focused on just business today. But so you have the perfectionism which you know, you're, you, know, you know that you want to launch your business. You know you want to offer a new uh, service. You know you want to maybe even shift kids, whatever the case may be. You know you want to go live, right? You know one of the things you want to do is start marketing yourself online and showing up, being visible on camera, 
right? Through reels or whatever the case, or Facebook lives, whatever the case may be. But it's not perfect. You're not going to do it perfect. At least this is the thought that you have, right? You're not going to do it perfect. I don't know exactly how to do it. I don't know how to do it. Which leads to procrastination. Procrastination is based in fear. Fear of judgment. Fear of not doing it right. Fear of, you know, falling short. Fear of whatever. Fear, fear of insert. Your favorite flavor of fear. Because there are so many flavors of fear, right? They're all, you know, I was going to say they're all valid. They are all, we'll leave it at they're all valid. Although that in and of itself is a whole other topic, which I probably will speak on fear. But here's the thing. What ultimately happens is that perfectionism, it diminishes your self-esteem, right? Because then you have all those thoughts like, oh, I'm not going to do it right. I can't do it right. It's not going to be good enough. All of those things, whatever, the, whatever it is, you guys know what, right? I see you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm reading the comments here. And so also it disturbs, it robs you of your sense of peace because you, you have this desire to do something, but because of the fear or the concern that it won't be perfect, and let's just be clear, you guys, perfect perfection doesn't even exist. It's a figment of our imagination. Perfection does not exist. Can we just go there? Can we just go there for a moment? It doesn't. It's not a real thing. It's something that we've made up. Because tell me when you tell me when something's perfect. I'll wait. It does. It's not. <laughs> it's not. So now that we've established that, all right. So it robs you of your sense of peace because it's this thing that you know you're supposed to do. You're supposed to up level your business, right? Add on another service, launch your business, whatever the case may be. But because you're holding yourself hostage, right? Because of the fear of judgment or whatever the case may be, then you're not making any progress. And so then it's, it becomes a heavy thing. And it takes up so much mental real estate, so much emotional real estate, and it robs you of your sense of peace. And ultimately it leads to stress. And we're not going to even go there and discuss the mental, physical, emotional manifestations of stress, right? On our bodies and in our lives. We won't even go there. But the other thing is that it imp impedes your achievement. It impedes your achievement and it impacts the level of impact that you're wanting to have, right? It prevents you from making the impact that you want to make. You guys, this is huge. So I'm going to share a story with you really, really quickly. One of my clients, one of my business coaching clients was so fearful of showing up online. Just like, I can't, I don't want to do a lie. Brilliant, brilliant, absolutely brilliant person, right? Fear of showing up online, fear of doing something, going live, and, and kind of coached her through that, not kind of, but coached her through that. And so she, of course, was procrastinating. I'll do it later. But, as it, but of course, later never came. How many of you can relate to that? Yes. That's, again, that's the sneaky little way that it prevents us from making the level of impact that we're wanting to make. It's the sneaky little way, sneaky little way of preventing us from, from moving forward. And so she finally did it. Like, so we, I coached her through this and she finally did it. And when she did it, she was like, oh my God, I hated it. And, but it was fabulous. And so you guys know that we are our own worst critics. We know this, right? She went on and on about how much she hated it. I was like, I didn't see any of that. I don't even know what you're talking about. It was a great video. And then this is what happened. A little bit later on that day, one of my other business clients sent me a message and she said, Oh my gosh, like who was that other, who was the lady that posted? Cause she saw her post, uh, saw her, yeah, it was, a, it was a reels actually. And she said, who was that? She said, I'm so, she said, who was that? And I'm so glad that I saw her post because she looks like me around the same, you know, a, around the same age, around the same, you know, not around the same, the same nationality, that type of thing. And she was like, it was so refreshing to see someone that looked like me do it. And now I, now I feel like I can do this. And so you guys realize that the things that you do are connected to other people. We're here to make an impact. Now, my, first, my original client, Leslie, I'm just going to say her first name. Leslie, she, her, the, the, the reason why she did the video, it was not to give someone else the permission to do, to do the same, right? But what it inadvertently did was give someone the permission to do the same. Just like, okay, she did it. She looks like me. She talks like me. You know, she's not, I can do it too. We're talking about impact, you guys. Even if that wasn't the intended impact, such a huge impact was made. And then of course, Lillian started doing it, uh, doing videos as well too, and promoting her business online as well. 
And so it's that ripple effect. All right. And so before I get into, okay, how, what's the solution? What is the solution to this whole perfectionism thing? How do we get over this whole perfectionism thing? How, what do we do? First of all, the number one thing is just having a level of awareness, being aware of, oh, oh, okay, perfectionism. There it is. How do I know it's perfectionism? Because I'm having all these thoughts. And because uh, here's the telltale sign. I'm procrastinating. I'm procrastinating doing what it, what it is that I know I'm supposed to do. That's the telltale sign. So just having that level of awareness. Okay. I said I was going to do it today. And, I, and everything else became ultra important. Everything else had to be prioritized over this thing. Although this is the thing that I know that I'm supposed to do. This is the thing that I know that's going to move my business forward. This is the thing that's going to, I know that's going to help to make a bigger impact. This is the thing that I know that's going to make a bigger, uh, that's, help, that's going to help me create a bigger income, a more income, right? However, conveniently, everything else became more important. But then you roll it over to tomorrow's schedule. Because we're going to do it tomorrow. I'm going to do it tomorrow because I'll have more time tomorrow. And then guess what happens? It's the same thing over and over and over again. Here, here it is. It's a week. It's a month. It's a year later. And you haven't done the dog on thing. Okay. And so we're recognizing it. So just being aware is the first part. The second thing is reframing, reframing you guys. Can I, can I tell you about, can I stress to you the importance of having a powerful or creating a powerful reframe, reframing it from, you know, it's, it's gotta be perfect because again, that's a, that's a construct. That's a figment of our imagination to understanding that really what we're wanting is we're, we're striving for excellence. We're not, we can't attain perfection, but we can strive for excellence because at the end of the day, that's what it is that we want, right? So reframing that and understanding that it's not about perfection because there is no such thing as perfection. Also understanding, and this is one of the things that I teach my clients is that it's never win or lose, right? So that's how we've been taught in school as, as kids. So that's kind of been how we've been indoctrinated, but that's not, that's actually false. It's not a win or a lose. It's either a win or a learn. A win, meaning you got the desired outcome or a learn. Maybe you didn't get the desired outcome, but you, but there were some nuggets that you got from the experience that now you can apply to the next experience. Make sense? But there's never a win or lose. Never. And there's never a fail. And I used to always say, you know, uh, that we're we're failing forward towards success. But this is what I've come to realize. If you're not failing, you're not trying because nobody gets it, quote unquote, right, right out the gate. And no one gets it, quote unquote, right all the time. So, hey, (laughs) I see you there. I'm going to answer your text in just a sec. I mean, your your, uh, comment in just a second. It just popped up on my screen. Okay. So when... Or learn. So having that very powerful reframe, win or learn. And another thing that we've been kind of taught and conditioned is that practice makes perfect. No, it doesn't. That's a lie. We've been lied to. Practice does not make perfect. Practice makes better. Practice makes better, right? Think about this. Think about, I was literally with my son the other day, uh, this past weekend at the Apple store. Okay. So at the Apple store, he got a new phone. He got the whatever, 14 max or something like that. Nothing was wrong with the other version, the 10th. I don't even, I don't have iPhone, so whatever. Um, I have a more superior device. Thank you very much. Um, But there was nothing wrong from Apple's perspective. There's nothing wrong with the the 10, the 10 max, whatever, the 11, 12, 13, whatever. Yet there's always improvements that can be made. There's always additional features that can be added. Hence, the iPhone 14 Max or whatever the name of it is, right? And there will always be. There's always another level to your evolution in business, in self, period, okay? So practice doesn't make perfect, practice makes better, right? And, and always about, if you can remember this, progress over perfection. Progress is an action word. You can't make progress if you're hiding behind perfectionism, which which leads to procrastination, which basically keeps you stuck and stagnant. Okay, so that we know progress is an action word. That means you must be in action, which means you must be doing something. You've got to be doing something. You get to be doing something. It's the, it's the exact opposite of procrastination. Okay, so progress over perfection. And here's the thing, you guys, you've got people out there 
that people who are not as qualified as you, who are not as smart, who are not as smart as you, who doesn't know, who don't know anywhere as near the amount um, of things that you know, yet they don't have time to be perfect. They don't have time to be insecure. They are too busy taking blind action, taking blind leaps of faith, doing the doggone thing, you know, putting, doing the, doing the, doing the work without any idea what the outcome will be. Okay. And then meanwhile, you got the smart people. That would be you, right? That would be, that'd be you, right? Overthinking, overanalyzing, questioning, doubting, having one foot on the uh, gas, one foot on the brake. I don't know if you've ever done that in a car, but guess what? You ain't making no progress. If you have one foot on the gas, one foot on the brake, it's not, you're not moving it. You're not going anywhere. Okay. And in and the, and the day, missing out, you're missing out on the impact, the money, the joy, the joy of sharing your work with the world. Okay. So write this down, you guys. Hopefully you wrote a couple things down already, but people will pay you for your organized thoughts and expertise. People will pay you for your organized thoughts and expertise. So let's release the perfection, stop the procrastination, and really focus on just making progress. Just making progress. You know, the Nike slogan, just do it. So the, that's the, actually the third thing. So the first thing was awareness. The second thing was reframing. And the third thing is just do it. Just do the doggone thing. Don't schedule it in because we know we've been there, done that. That's a little trick of the little sneaky trick, right? Of your mind, like, okay, schedule it in for tomorrow. And guess what? Conveniently, everything is going to be more important tomorrow. So it's going to get bumped again and bumped and bumped and bumped. No, do it now. Do it now. Do it now. Just do it like Nike. Okay. That's it. That's it. And remember, you guys, I'm going to leave you with these closing words. Imperfect action is better than perfect procrastination. Any day, all day. Imperfect action, I'll repeat it because I know some of you are like, what did she say? Imperfect action is better than perfect procrastination. Any day, all day. Okay. So I thank you for hanging out with me for Thought Leader Thursday. Again, I invite you to, um, if this resonated with you and if you have a desire to shift what it is that you're doing, right? If I invite you to attend the webinar this Saturday, making the quantum leap from successful nurse or successful clinician to, I don't even know why, like, like why, why my webinar just went out of my head, making the quantum leap from successful nurse to, success, to online coach. Um, you got your six-figure online coach, I think is the actual name of it. Don't worry about it. If you're interested in it, just drop, uh, just let me know. I'll drop the link. You can see what the official name of the title is. But anyway, I thought we did Thursday. Bye for now.